to Pepeo's tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video I will be talking about how you can install Magento 2 on CentOS 7. Before getting started, I will recommend to check the link in the description where you can find this complete tutorial which might help you out in setting up Magento 2 on your CentOS 7 server. What is Magento? Magento is an open source e-commerce platform which helps merchants to manage their catalog, their product and all the e-commerce related stuff. So let's get started with how you can install Magento on CentOS 7. What are the pre-requirements? You will need PHP with version 5.6 above. You will need MySQL which should also have 5.6 plus version uh, an Apache or Nginx server. We will go with Apache server in this video. Uh, it, a server with minimum RAM of 2 GB. Let's begin with the step one. So what is the step one? First of all, we need to install web server that can be Apache or Nginx. So in this video, as we said, we will be going to Apache. If Apache is not installed on your server, you can easily install using sudo yum install HTTP D that is uh, this command. And after once uh, the Apache is installed, you can start the server with using the command as system CTL start HTTP D. Once you have started, we need to enable the same server so that it can be accessible on the URL. So to enable those, you need to do system CTL enable HTTPD. Once the HTTPD that is Apache is up, you can find out on your local host on any web. Uh, you can use Chrome or Firefox to locate your local host. You can hit directly on the URL and find your web server. Step two is we need to create a, a config for your for Magento that is uh, Magento.conf. So we need to just simply create Magento.conf file here uh, at this part that is etc HTTPD sites enabled available and Magento.conf. And we just need to copy this virtual host part in that file and save. Once we have saved, we need to just restart the server so that the config is automatically updated. Once each and everything is updated with the web server part, it will reflect on the local host that you have hit on the Chrome or Mozilla browser. Installing PHP dependencies. So in order to install PHP dependencies, you can just copy paste this command on your terminal. And uh, once the uh, PHP dependencies are installed, then you are good to go with uh, Magento installation. But I will recommend to make few changes in php.ini file which, you, which might help you out in installing Magento fluently and smoothly on the server. So we need to make a memory limit of 512 MB. Uh, I will recommend if you can provide more that is 1 GB or 2 GB then it will be better and fast execution of Magento that is fast uh, installation of Magento. The max upload size should be 128 MB uh, if you can make more. Uh, yeah, this is just for uh, the installation kind of stuff. Later you can uh, degrade or minimize this value. Once you have done this PHP uh, INA part, just restart your PHP FPM server and restart your Apache server. So this will overall uh, refresh the config of PHP and Apache web server. Now it's time to install MySQL. If you have already installed MySQL, you just need to Create a credential that is uh, you just need to log into root and just copy paste the following part. You need to create a database named Magento. If you want something else, you can do that also. That can be any uh, user, uh, any name of your choice. Then you can create a Magento user. For simplicity, I have used Magento user on localhost and password is just password. Once you have grant all access to this, just first uh, flush the privileges and it will update the similar kind of. But if you have not installed MySQL, then you can just simply uh, follow this step. That is, you can just duplicate this MySQL community release. And once the RPM is installed, using this command, you can install uh, MySQL on your CentOS server and just start the MySQL D service. Once you have started the MySQL D service, now it's time to change the temporary password to the password of our choice. So using this sudo mysql uh, secure installation, you can uh, generate or set a new root password 
that can be uh, complex. So the more complex your password is, the more secure your database will be. Once you are done with this stuff, now it's time to install Composer. So we will be installing Magento using Composer. So installing Composer, as we have already downloaded PHP, we just need to hit uh, copy this command and hit on our terminal. So what it will do, it will directly install Composer using uh, the copying from the HTTP D server as com uh, Composer setup.php. And afterwards, we need to just run PHP Composer setup and install in particular user bin file. Once Composer installed, then you can just select this composer hyphen V to check out whether which version is installed, what, which uh, composer type is installed on your server. Once uh, the composer part is installed, you can uh, install Magento using composer. But if you want uh, to install, so it's in two type way, you can install using zip also. But before that, you need to create an account on Magento that is free so that uh, the username and password can be used at a while installation. So just log into uh, the Magento marketplace and create your profile. Just uh, simply uh, sign up over here. And once uh, you have signed up, <coughs> so just uh, sign in. So I have already created my account. I will be signing in. So once uh, you have signed in, just uh, move to my profile and in my profile, you might go to marketplace and access keys. Once you have created the access key, you will be getting uh, two kind of keys that is public key and private key. Public key will be your username, private key will be your password for uh, the Magento uh, account. Now it's time to install Magento using Composer. So let's move uh, to the directory root directory of Apache that is var ww html and using composer we will be installing Magento. So just copy paste this uh, command on your terminal. Once you have copied this command on your terminal, uh, it will automatically resolve the dependencies if any. Uh, if any error arises, you can easily install it using composer or it's if it's an system of php uh, issues then you can just install using yum so this is this is what will create an magento directory in ww html similarly using zip you can directly uh, download the magento zip file from this link and using this link uh, using the unzip path path you can make a directory called magento and just copy paste this command so that it will unzip the magento zip to Magento file <clears throat> and once the Magento zip is installed just you need to do is Composer install so it will install all the dependency required by Magento. So what are the common errors and exception you can uh, get while uh, installing Magento is directory permission or the Apache or Nginx server permission so it can be WW data uh, root uh, group and user and similarly it can be Apache Apache nginx nginx depending on what web server you are using so what you can do is just uh, grab this uh, Apache so that you can you you will be knowing which HTTP D uh, is running on which group the HTTP D is running so it's mostly an uh, Apache server once you are done and successfully installed the Magento on the root directory of web server, you will be redirected to some page like this. So the Magento uh, is, this is the home page for Magento while setting up the Magento. It will ask you to start uh, the installation. So you, all you need to do is check the readiness of, uh, of all the dependencies installed or not. Then you can just click the next and similarly, it will check all the dependency readiness check that is all the de dependencies that Magento requires that is PHP version settings extensions file permission is uh, uh, greater or not or something and once it all required uh, is uh, satisfied it will be shown green in color or else there will be a red cross over here if uh, something is this uh, is not satisfying adding a database 
so we have already uh, added a database previously for magento that is magento uh, has our database name magento user has our username password was just a password once that is done you can move on to the next step similarly uh, this is the web configuration details that you need to provide and once all this stuff uh, stuff is done this is the admin account creation here uh, you you need to specify your username it can be anything any username of your choice so that you can manage your magento account from your server by clicking install it will take few, uh, some time but it will be installed properly setting up cron jobs so how uh, magento will be upda getting updated uh, with the products and stuff so the cron does that job if uh, cron is not installed on your server then you can simply install by using yum install crony on uh, centers so once you do sudo crontab hyphen l just copy paste these three crons that we need to run for magento and that's it for uh, the magento setup and your e-commerce site will be up so your e-commerce site will look like some look something like uh, this once it is up okay so uh, th this is the uh, dashboard you can say once you have installed successfully so this is the admin dashboard which will be uh, seen after once you have installed all the magento uh, setup properly so what is the conclusion uh, that magento can be installed easily on centos 7 and e-commerce website can be easily taken up by using this simple step and uh, that's it for the uh, for this video uh, thank you for watching and make sure uh, you subscribe to channel for more product updates and more tutorials and uh, if you still face any issue while uh, installation you can anytime check the link in the description so that you can find the complete tutorial and which might help you out in setting up Magento on CentOS. Thank you.